All right, everyone, I figured I'd give NBA one more go here, so we're going to skip to the fifth game here, like always, Timberwolves. All right, let's see. Ah, GM badge, all right. Let's go to training center for now. All right, what's going on here? Hello, Sir Manike. I have a report ready for the prospects we've scouted. Do you wish to give it a look? All right, well, we'll give it a look, yeah. We've got a bunch of centers, which is probably good. Uh, take a look at this guy. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Where is the dude at? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, just look at this guy and look at Duncan. Ah, alright. Yes. Alright, let's go. Next up, I want to discuss my wish list goals. Keep Kawhi Leonard morals above 60. Should be able to. He's my main guy. Let's review the terms of your employment. Your earn XP for complete milestones. So, Alright. Get us on the top 10 of the attendance by capacity list by the end of the year. I expect you to manage the needs of our players. Do not let our team chemistry drop below 55. Do not lose more than 39 games a season. Do not let it Kawhi Leonard's moral morale drop. Staff goals as the coach of this team. I'm telling you that will greatly if you can assign it. Udonis Haslam. All right, if everyone. I remember the last video they wanted me to. Uh, let's see. Uh, staff payroll. Let's drop that a little bit. Let's put it towards the arena somewhat. Uh, ready to get started. Alright. Right, we'll have to get you Donna's Haslam. Everyone wants here. Oh my goodness. Uh, now we got Timmy and Brandon right here. Great. Just freaking awesome. Well. Guess we can put in Kyle Quinn. But Alright. Now we might as well switch this. Alright. Let's go sign Udonis Haslam. Oh, what the freak. Hey, t as I'm sure you are aware, the team has an uphill battle to climb with our recent big injury. Nazar, Nazar, Muhammad. Uh, sure, why not? I'll sign Muhammad and Haslam. Why not? Hold on. Let me go sign those bros. Where the freak? It's free agency. There they are. All right, Udonis Haslam. Where are you at? There you are. Negotiate contract. T Rock, it's great to get a chance to talk with you. Let me give you the rundown of what I'm thinking. My agent and I are looking at for one year. Sure thing. Yeah, one year is good enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking for. Uh, how do I accept this? Okay, I want to accept. I'm pressing all the buttons. Okay, there we go. Okay, 1.47. Mind and trick pitch. Nah, that's, wait, that's good. 1.47, alright. There. 
All right, we got Udonis Haslam. Now let's get Muhammad. All right, where the fruit? There we go. Where the fruit? What is it? Never heard of Nazir Muhammad, but the fruits he play. <laughs> I don't know why he play. Yeah, there he is. Thirty-seven. Jesus. They don't want me to sign him. Is he got rebounding or anything? Inside D is good, I guess. Rebound. Eh. I'll give him one year deal. It'll be a good replacement. What's his. Uh, let's see if I can get him maybe 940,000. Point oh three. We'll give him one point oh five there. There. All right. Put those guys in the lineup uh, roster. I guess I can't fix them up yet. Let's play Tim's here. Wow, Team Blues. <laughs> the 2K Sports pregame show presented by Sprite. Hello, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson along with the legendary Shaquille O'Neal. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Our coverage tonight from Target Center as the Minnesota Timberwolves will be playing against the Denver Nuggets. It's been some Don't pretty good basketball guys? lately for the Nuggets. They must be satisfied with the way things have gone for them over the first few months. They've played with confidence and composure and have won more than their share of games. Yeah, all those losses is because of There's me. There's Isaiah Thomas, the other Isaiah Thomas, uh, the 60th pick back in 2011. This guy can score, Shaq. He can flat out score. You know, if you look at his numbers, they're not just empty numbers. And Ernie, he's always been an efficient scorer. For his size, he's an incredible finisher, a great athlete who can make adjustments in midair. I just wish he was a little bit taller, Ernie. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's certainly no Shaquille O'Neal, but he uh, he's, he's effective, obviously. Very effective. He plays without fear. To this guy, Ernie, scoring comes easy. How did you like playing against little guys? When you were down there and saw these little jitterbugs running around, what'd you, did you just want to squash guys like that? I never seen them, Ernie, because I always look up. Whatever that means. Let's go to Kevin Harlan courtside. All right, let's see how I fare in this matchup. And now, your Minnesota Timberwolves starting. Hmm. All right. It's an all let's get this done. Matchup in today's game as the Nuggets come into town for this one. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. Here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Timmy's in. He the Timberwolves he's again playing host, continuing their homestand in this one. This game's going to be a challenge for them. Facing one of the top tier teams in the league, they'll have to be at their best to steal a win here. And as far as the regular season goes, Kevin, this is as good as it gets. The definition of a rivalry, a game between these two teams is always special. Absolutely. Ah. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I mean, we've seen so many great contests between them in the past that it's impossible not to be amped up. Can't you tell? <laughs> now, let's take a look at Denver's Nice. Open there line. we go. Thomas is out I'm there actually with leading for once. Then oh, my Kawhi God. <laughs> then there's Anderson, and it's Duncan in at the power forward position. It's amazing. Isaiah Thomas is just a fighter. He's adapted and thrived at every level. In his three years at the University of Washington, he got better and better each season. And in the NBA, you know, barely even projected to make the league. He's outplayed his competition. Come on. Yes. Continued to Good rebound. Leonard attacking. Oh, by dang it, man. It's rebounded by Thornton. Nice. 
There we go. The Minnesota Timberwolves come into this one after the win against the Utah Jams. Yeah, it didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like uh, they scored at will. Not much defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game and actually nearly God dang the entire it, Tim. game. And Threw no right in what his leg. Was out the there. Looked like a mismatch. Oh, nice. And they're running. That's good. And there you go. With the assist. You know, the instant that steal was made, they were off and running the other way. Ball pressure, then a run out see. That's perfection to me. Now here's Jackson. He had 13 points in the win against Utah. And yeah, no question, you look at his assist totals. Oh, tell uh, you a nice job he was doing. Really spreading that ball around. All right, let's do this. On defense, see Minnesota. Here, get a good basket, maybe. Thomas oh. dishes to Thornton. I always want me to go to Timmy for some reason. He kicks it to Duncan. And it's going to be a three second call. Oh. Get some stats for Sergi I hate that play. Nice from him Doesn't work as good as when I use my box. guy in and 2K14. In Timmy so misses it almost every time. Team. And Steve, you said it. I mean, he ranks in the top five in blocks per game. And that yeah. puts him in his rightful place as one of the most feared defenders in the league right now. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. A hard <laughs> pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff yeah, there. Yeah, there was exactly. a lot to like on that play. Now, here's Thomas. He had 28 points in the win against Memphis. And a gigantic ah. at the free throw line. I mean, he was initiating contact and really hunting those whistles from the referees. Well, certainly a story here at the Target Center is the ongoing $100 billion Dang it, man. To the Great, I already lost my lead. Awesome. The city of Minneapolis. That's great news for Timberwolves fans. Here's Thomas, following the score by Kevin Martin. Thomas kicks to Thornton. Pass to Duncan. Back to Thornton. Come on, man. Here's Anderson. Oh my god, what the freak, man? Why do my guys always miss it? Oh, I'm tired of the missing. This is one thing that's staring me away from this game. My guys are missing it constantly. And you look at the long list of improvement for the Target Center. New lobbies, new box office, renovated locker rooms, new clubs and gathering areas. Seems like they're getting great bang for their buck. Now, here's Thornton. He had a 12 point oh my god. <laughs> I can't make anything in this game. Now here's Jackson. Yeah. I'm really considering but selling this because I can't play Tim this. Duncan grabs the miss. And guys, it can be tough to see teams pressuring cities for new arenas. Nice that the Timberwolves can stay put and still get those improvements. Absolutely, Kevin. You know, this building is good bones, a great location. So it's a pleasure to see the transformation they're making here. And we're already starting to see some of the results. Here is Ibaka. Isaiah Thomas making his last shot. It's Martin on the wing. Coming off a stellar performance against Utah. Ibaka, no luck. The Nuggets trail, and the Nuggets pushing it up now. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Anderson. Leonard's got his first points of the night. Room service delivery right there, fellas. Wonderful entry fee. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Well, it's absolutely incredible when you look at Tim Duncan and see the impact he continues to have on games at his current age. I mean, he looks much as he did early in his career. His game has really withstood the test of time, and I think it's partly due to his conditioning, but his IQ is a big factor, and his game has always been one that's been anchored in fundamentals and staying close to the ground. Now Chalmers, Trevor Ariza, missing from long range. Nobody near Kid Gilchrist, and that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. There's a minute left in the first quarter of the game. Naper kicks to Meeks. Pass to Ariza. This one for three. That's good. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. The Nuggets have gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Chalmers with it. An 11-point game for him in the win against Memphis. 
And it's Meeks with the rebound. Uh, I thought you were injured. Freaking right. God dang it. Second difference. Shot in game clock. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send him to the free throw line. Don't give him an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep him out of the lane next time around. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. And here is Chalmers. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Nice open look, but it's no good. Uh. Point lead. Just three on the clock. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. Second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And let's quickly break down the game we're watching with the Timberwolves, guys. And the key is you look at the steal totals for this team. They have really put good pressure on the offense. Well, you know what? Pressure can lead to pilfers, and pilfers can lead to points. So we've got the three Ps, pressure, pilfers, points. Get it done. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for Minnesota, Jody Meeks out there with Barnes. Then it's Mike Scott. Then it's Nash. And it's Napier in at the two. And so he makes both from the line. Well, you can count on him, can't you? He seems to knock down free throws consistently all game long. Well, Denver in the post-mellow years has been a collection of good players, but... You always have to wonder if they'll have a low ceiling because this team does not have a so-called superstar. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, interestingly, guys, Joe Kim Noah draws inspiration from music. Not the typical selections you might think. He is a huge reggae fan. Noah said, quote, people think reggae is such happy music, but really listen to the lyrics. It's about empowerment. It's about uniting people. It gives me strength on the floor. Guys? Noah, definitely a unique player and character in the NBA. Good to see, good kid. Thank you, Doris. Joaquin Noah is checked in for Minnesota. Baca comes in for Napier. Perseverance paying off on the offensive boards, guys. This against Nash. Thomas goes in. It's Beasley on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Rebound, Minnesota. Noah's got his third rebound tonight. At that point, Denver has done well without what most would call a superstar, but obviously that takes its toll come playoff time. It really does. I mean, you need somebody that you can really rely on as your go-to guy, the one who gets it done for you in the clutch, and they haven't quite established that player, and yet um, they're still competitive. Minnesota leading by five. Knocks it loose. Duncan kicks to Leonard. And a strong finish with two hands. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And so it's Minnesota with it. The Nuggets getting the bucket. The left side of Baca. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. And Meeks kicks to Nash. No good from outside. The Nuggets trail by three. The dish to Leonard. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Leonard's got his third basket of the night. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. For Denver, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. Well, that's how you send it. Two hands and hammer it down. And Thornton, a 6'4 guard, but you'll never confuse him for a point guard. The volume shooter, and the moment he takes the floor, he's looking to put points up in a hurry, and he can do just that. 
several lead changes <sighs> going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. Yeah, five times already the lead has changed. Minnesota making some changes. Martin comes in for Meeks, and it's Jackson in for Nash. Chris Anderson has checked in for the Nuggets. Now here's Leonard. He's got eight, and all around the rim that time before dropping in. Leonard's got eight points here in this quarter. And Thornton, a streaky shooter from long range, but never shy from out there. I mean, he, for his career, almost half of his shot attempts have come from three-point territory. On the wing, Jackson. He's guarded by Thomas. Oh. So it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Dang it. An opportunity here to go to the 2K leaderboard and see who's been the hottest of the hot at the small forward position for the past month. Fifth best, Kawhi Leonard. You know, a lot of the NBA's most explosive players, man, that small forward position. And you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. Steve, I'd say more than pretty good. Those are the guys that give opposing defenses nightmares on a regular basis. Now here's Jackson, averaging 12 points a game. Goes up on the high post, and it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And you could accuse Marcus Thornton of tunnel vision offensively. But one thing you like, he doesn't turn the ball over. And for a size, Kevin, he's a really crafty finisher around the rim. I like to focus on what guys do. He's a scorer. He takes good care of the ball. It's not worried about what he does. But you got him there for that reason. And he oh, my God. A three-point lead? Who would have right thunk now. it? Mike Scott's oh, my God. And Trevor Ariza is subbed in for Matt Barnes. Denver also making some changes. Oh, great. For Duncan, and it's Kid Gilchrist in for Leonard. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Uh, didn't he? It was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Now, here's Thomas. Six points for him. And Thornton kicks to Thomas. Anderson a screen on Jackson. Thomas with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. And again, oh, Denver, my no God. good. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next time. Right, great. I'm Thornton losing the again. Awesome. Can see this tug-of-war game continue. You know what? And they just keep flip-flopping the lead again and again and again. Yeah, how about the, that last lead change, guys? That's number seven for the game. Thomas passes to Thornton. That's good. And it's nice. Thomas picking up the assist. Thornton's got five points now in the quarter. Wow, this has been a thriller. I mean, the, the way these teams are battling, just going back and forth. Would you like to bet that this game may end on a buzzer beater? How much would you bet? <laughs> <laughs> now, here is Martin. He has seven. Shots good by ah. the backup. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Thomas averaging 16 points a game. Outside for Thornton. Stolen by Martin. Great. <clears throat> now running it up the court. Martin pushing it up. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Timberwolves shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, this is a club that has hit about 80% of its free throws during the season. Very impressive number. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. Napier, he's checked in for Jackson. Denver also making some changes. Udonis Hassel, he's checked in for Anderson. Miller comes in for Marcus Thornton. And it's Chalmers in for Isaiah Thomas. Now Martin, averaging 14 points a game. Shot from free throw range, and Wright pulls it down. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. I thought that was a score. I thought it was in the so air. Got that shot off in time. I think they're going to be able to see pretty clearly on the replay that the shot left his hands in time, guys. Um, the evidence is right there. Yeah, and this is a big call. There we go. Try to screw me before the game ends. <laughs> We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. 
You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Seemed like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And Steve, they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. So out there uh, for the Nuggets right now, we've got Kawhi Leonard. Anderson is out there with Duncan. Right, come on. Then it's Thornton. And it's Thomas in at the point guard. Kicks to Leonard. Left side, Leonard. Dishes to Duncan. Ah. And the pass to Anderson. That's good, and so Duncan with the assist. Duncan's got his third assist on the night. Nice pass. That one was right on target. Here's Jackson. Outside, Martin. Ibaka sets the pick for Martin. Ariza has the open look, and it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. That's right. Hit me like that. No, how dare you. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Thomas kicks to Leonard. Ah. Good D by Ariza. They call him Serge Ibaka. Ibaka has led the league in total blocks for four straight seasons. I love that Ibaka. That fits. <laughs> and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Of course, I couldn't get one when I shot. Also known as Serge Protector. <laughs> Devastating. Sore land from that weak side is over. Yeah, Kevin, I think he's improved his defensive IQ as well. He's kind of learned when to jump, uh, when to hold back, when to box out. And he's a terrific pick-and-roll defender as well because of his lateral quickness. He's able to stay with point guards on a switch. Really impressive. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Barnes has checked in. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Ariza against Leonard. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that, Leonard's got 12 points in the game. The Timberwolves trail. Wow. Now here's Barnes. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Jackson dishes to Barnes. Jackson kicks to Barnes. Shot clock at six. Here's Martin on target for 15 ah. feet. Martin's got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Thomas kicks to Leonard. Barnes grabs the miss. Thanks. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. It's Jackson with the drive. Ariza has the open look and a good uh, so perfect on their first three shots now. That's the way to start the second half. Nuggets have gone two of four here to start the second half. Thomas kicks to Leonard. Anderson a screen on Ariza. Leonard. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Leonard having a good one. He has God dang it. He's also got one block to add to the mix today. Yeah, it's just a small part of what's been a solid overall contribution by him defensively. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Jody Meeks comes in for Kevin Martin. And it's Nash in for Reggie Jackson. Michael Beasley, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Kid Gilchrist comes in for Marcus Thornton. Ariza passes to Meeks. Ariza against Leonard. Steps back and shoots with the putback. It's a uh. putback. And the Timberwolves lead by three. And that's a really deft touch right there, guys. And he just guided that ball back up and in. You know, Clark, just a fingertip touch on the ball. Really well done. Yeah, you don't need to catch it and gather and try to go back up if you've got that type of angle. He really took advantage. Thomas goes in. That's good. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him. You know, Steve, I thought God dang it, come on! To the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Scotty's checked in for Minnesota. 
The Nuggets also changing it up. Brandon Wright's checked in for Dunk. Oh my God. And it's Come on. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Here's Wright. Good. It's Chalmers with the assist that time. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Nash gets to Ariza. Count the bucket. Uh, uh, Ariza's got 12. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Chalmers dishes to Thomas. Outside kid Gilchrist. It's going Come by on. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Meeks leading the charge. Offensive rebound. Leaps for it. Stolen by Chalmers. Nash against Thomas. Balls oh, come loose. on! There's a whistle and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. That's foul number two for him. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Minnesota. Napier comes in for Nash. And a switcher also for Denver. Miller's checked in for Isaiah Thomas. Boy, you look at how Ibaka has gone from role player to key player since his time in the league. And he's done it by increasing his range and efficiency from outside. And he's done it every season. You really have to admire his work ethic. Everybody raves about the character of this young man. Ibaka definitely knows how to improve his game. And if you look at his shot charts year by year, there are distinct changes in where he's getting his shots from. What the freak what was kind of that? Come on. And right kicks to Miller. Oh my god. Minnesota leading by six. And Mario Chalmers gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Timberwolves have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, sometimes it's contagious. Everybody starts to get comfortable and relaxed, and everything goes in the hoop. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The Timberwolves have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Here's Napier. He's guarded by Haslam. Meeks passes to Napier. Let's it go with a three. And that one's good. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Here's Wright. And released it in time, but it's off. quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from kind of an unlikely source here. Yeah, it's the big fella here doing his best impression of a point guard, so <laughs> serving up a, a brilliant feed here. That's gorgeous. They've got Noah. Jackson is out there with Napier. Then there's Martin, and it's Ibaka in at the four slot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Timberwolves leading by 11. Noah with a screen on Thornton. Napier kicks it to Noah. Launches it. Up the live, Minnesota. Here's Napier. Jackson, a screen on Anderson. Back to Martin. Goes back up. And again, it's Minnesota converting. A little lucky, frankly, but they did get it to go. The Nuggets trail by 13. Thornton with it. He dishes it to Leonard. In low to Duncan. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't miss area. Outside for Jackson. No good on the triple. 
Guys, we have seen them with a lot of good ball movement. Well, you like the smooth operating they're showing you here. I mean, things are clicking, and more importantly, it makes them tough to defend. Yeah, there's no agenda. I mean, the ball's just moving to whoever is open, and as a result, they've kind of developed a clicking uh, kind of pace to their game. It's been fun to watch. And stolen by Napier. The finish. Adzu Abaka. They shoot again. That's good. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Matt Barnes has checked in for Napier. And a switcher also for Denver. Thomas has checked in. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Yes, Kevin. Brian Shaw had some words for his team in that last timeout. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively, saying, listen, we've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin did it sink in. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Barnes kicks to Ibaka. A baseline J. Shot is no good. Nice D from Duncan. The Nuggets trail by 13. Thornton dishes to Thomas. Plays it up and banks it in. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Jackson passes to a button. It's stolen by Duncan. To the inside. Here's Anderson. And it's blocked by a bucket. Hands out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain position here. Duncan up on top. Defended by Ibaka. And Thornton kicks to Leonard. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Ibaka sets the pick for Jackson. Feeds it to Ibaka. Back to Jackson, but three. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he has gone ice cold here. Martin against Fort. Jackson kicks to Martin. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Duncan's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. It's like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the time out if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Flip Saunders was saying to his club. He was intent on running the offense through Martin. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. He also wants them to concentrate on working as a team at the offensive end. Passing, patience, and teamwork, those were the messages. So Coach waiting until the final stages to pull a few tricks out of his sleeve. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. Thanks, Doris. With the floater, and it's Denver with the rebound. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. It's the first that will put them up by nine. Two shots. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Last outing for Denver, they won that game against Memphis. Duncan with a screen on Jackson. Thomas dishes to Thornton. And the shot no good, a bit short. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. The drive by Jackson. And he gets it to go. And the Timberwolves lead by 12. An example right there, guys, of how even as their lead grew into a big one, they never started coasting. That's the truth. I mean, they've been in charge of this game all the way through. The rebound by Noah. Minnesota's gotten off to an 0-2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. 
And so only one team answered the bell tonight. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Timberwolves. Well, the one thing that jumps out in this game, Clark, and Steve's kind of touched on it, is the free throw shooting, which they did a much better job at. Yeah, absolutely a big plus. And oftentimes, Kevin, we've seen it time and time again. All right, guys, I think I'm done with 2K at this point. And so this will now translate Apparently, to I can't keep up with the, the AI. I'm well, done with it. Closer to making this one official, I, I can be doing much safe, better things than freaking season series. doing so far, this. They've won both of the first two meetings. With two more to go before the end of the season, and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And nobody really saw a performance like this. Could be going back to MLB or something. Big time game for Kevin Martin. Every time he shot it, it not, seemed like it was not just going to drop with this. in, and, and nobody was surprised. Did my well, career no died way. out, That's so not a sight to see very often. I, mean, I am not. I'm not good at playing games in 2K. So. When he's open. If I can't compete, why am I even bothering with Outside it? Outside Jackson. And it's Martin not even penetrating. Good. Yeah, I think I'm done. From in close. That's not if someone says otherwise, then I'll maybe stick with it. But if no one says anything, I'm not even going to stick Nobody with this game. No good. So it's Minnesota winning yeah. this How much If I don't hear anything, one? then I'm done I mean, with this thing. They showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win. And they did both. And now we'll so I'll probably end up putting this game on up. eBay or something well, nice because I have I only play this when I record for YouTube. I don't even play this after. So I'm just not a big basketball guy. So and since I can't compete in this game, I might as well just throw in the towel and sell it. Try to get some money for some things later this year. So. Alright guys. This could be the end for 2K. With a question mark at the end. So. Alright.